Hey everyone, welcome to the 65 Live. We're live in Las Vegas at CES 2024. I'm media host Lisa Martin. Very pleased to be here with the CEO of Boomi, Steve Lucas. Steve is a longtime veteran of enterprise software for nearly 30 years, leading the helm as CEO and senior executive at Marketo, Adobe, Business Objects, SAP, Salesforce, iSIMS, you name it. Now for a year, a little over, Steve has been at the helm of Boomi, which is a leading global SaaS company focused on integration and automation. A lot has happened in the last year and Steve's going to tell us about it now. Steve, great to see you. Welcome to the 65 Live. Thank you for having me, Lisa. It's awesome to be here. It is. And congratulations, by the way. Thank you. I, you know, it's it's been a year. Boomi's an amazing company and uh, I've loved every minute of it. Talk me through some of those defining moments over the last year where you really started to see key elements of your strategic vision manifesting and coming to life. Well, it, first of all, it's always customer, customer, customer. It's customer adoption. What are they doing with Boomi? You, you said it, Boomi is integration and automation. Most companies, they, they have motivations like, we need to digitally transform. So they start adopting cloud applications, new software, but they forget, oh, we need an integration and automation platform. That's where Boomi comes in. We are the integration and automation platform. We connect everything from apps to data to devices. Apropos, because we're at CES and pretty much every device on the planet's here. It is here. And of course, what else is here? AI, AI, AI. The world has been taken by storm and just what a little over a year since ChatGPT was born, every company saying, we need to get on the AI train, but what does that mean? How do we do it? You guys announced just a few months ago at Boomi World Tour in Silicon Valley, where I had the pleasure of working with you there, Boomi AI and Boomi GPT. Talk to us about those. How is Boomi helping organizations really kind of adopt the fundamentals of AI and, and become AI ready? Well, I think there's probably very few people that haven't heard of GPT or at least said it once now in the past year. And it really is changing everything in the world of software. What, what Boomi GPT does is it takes the integration and automation that we provide and it literally lets anyone in an organization use it, apply it. Here's what I mean. Normally when you're thinking about things like uh, how does my invoicing work? How does my supply chain work? How does employee onboarding work? If you want to build a business process for one of those uh, kind of workflows, you need someone that knows the technology, knows the systems, how to connect. With, with Boomi GPT and Boomi AI, we've eliminated all of that. You can literally use natural language to type in things like, create my lead to cash process, go. And what we're building right now is even more transformative. We're, we're going to allow our customers to ask it questions about your business. So if I, if I have a question like, why, doesn't, why didn't an invoice process? Literally, you can ask your business a question about itself. That's what Boomi AI is doing. So we're radically simplifying how integration and automation work inside of organizations, who can use it, and how quickly you can get to the benefit. And speaking of quick to benefits, I saw a video, Steve, where you were talking about a staggering statistic in terms of what Boomi AI is able to enable IT resources to save on doing integrations. Share that with the audience, because it's big. Yeah, well, we, we set out a design goal when we said, hey, we're, we're going to embrace this AI and generative pre-trained transformer technology, but we want to reduce the amount of effort to, to integrate and automate your systems by 90%. We reached that goal. That's what we're delivering for customers today, a 90% reduction in the work effort. And when you think about IT budgets, they're not going up. Right. They're staying flat, they're going down. CIOs are being asked to do more with less. So if, you know, Boomi's bringing this technology to the table that reduces your effort to, to drive integration and automation, which ultimately begets digital transformation yeah. by 90%, why would you not look it's at that? It's a game changer. Yep. And a huge differentiator for Boomi. Yeah. So talk a little bit about, here we are at CES. I know there's some great customer stories. Boomi has tons of great yes. customers. I know that firsthand. Yeah, but over 20,000. Over 20,000 now, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. What are some of the, you know, here we are with, we expect as, as consumers, everything is connected. We're connected all the time. We can get access to anything, any transaction. Here we are at CES where AI, AI, AI is the name of the game. You had a chance to walk the show floor. What were some of the things that you saw that you think maybe Boomi can actually drive innovations here? Well, when, when I walk the show floor, you kind of remember that, you know, from the matrix, that digital view of everything. I mean, I'm looking at every single device 
knowing that, that Boomi not only connects apps and data, but we connect devices. We have amazing customers, and I'll, I'll get to that. Some of them are from you know, healthcare and audio and all kinds of amazing things. But I walk the show floor, besides seeing every robot lawnmower that you can think of, but the reality is, is like Boomi connects all of these systems, all of these devices, we connect all of that. So for any organization that's looking to integrate, their, their devices. I mean, we have a company, for example, that they, they use Boomi to connect to a, a dryer at a university to tell a student on an app when their clothes are dry. Nice. So we, we, we have infinite use cases, but I was walking the show floor, just obviously blown away with the amount of innovation. But that's where Boomi focuses is on coupling the, the innovation that people want to drive with how they connect to their customers and their operational systems. And you mentioned some great use cases. Healthcare is one of the ones that always fascinates me because it affects everybody, digital health, all of the things going on here with health technology. You know, yes. we're so used to wearables. I feel naked without my wearable today, yeah. left it at home. But all of, all of the great things that AI is enabling consumers to do, I, I, do you feel that there is a sense of consumers maybe feeling a little bit more comfortable with AI since there's been a lot of challenges with it from a from a branding perspective I think you know whether it's a consumer or a corporation it could be you know any kind the first thing you got to get over is the the comfort around the use of your data and that's where Boomi gets pulled in as well is because what we're doing with AI and specifically Boomi AI is we're enabling customers to power their AI visions but do it in a secure and managed way that's what you ultimately want to do we have customers today take um, Innovis for example great healthcare customer they're using and Boomi to integrate their supply chain end to end. And, and that's just one example of literally hundreds if not thousands of use cases in healthcare for Boomi. That's fantastic. Talk a little bit about, one of the things that I know that you say is, you know, technology needs to serve a purpose. It has to drive yeah. business outcomes. How is Boomi AI going to be that, that game changer for organizations to deliver better outcomes to their end users faster? Well, th this is the thing. I think, you know, if you, you walk in, I've been in this industry for a long time. You walk into any organization, there's so much undeployed technology, so much shelfware. It's not serving a purpose. It's not driving that net benefit for the company. What Boomi's all about is ensuring that no matter what your software investment, that we're able to get you to that benefit faster. So if you've invested in SAP, Oracle, it doesn't matter. We're able to integrate all of your technology into a supply chain landscape. We have one amazing customer, uh, you know, Sonos, as a great case in point. I mean, they're integrating hundreds of systems with their SAP supply chain technology. So, you know, these types of things are, are uh, great examples of how, you know, Boomi is accelerating that time to benefit. That's, that's what it's all about is accelerating, accelerating that time to value. Last question for you, Steve. You're, you just passed the one year mark at Boomi as we talked about in the beginning of the conversation. What's next? What does the horizon look like from your lens? Well, you said it. First of all, it's AI, but it's also APIs. The world that we live in, and again, CES here in Las Vegas, I think it's very apropos. Everything in the world has an API now. Well, I have an API, you know, every, although you mentioned the wearables, right? We all have APIs. It, it's AI and APIs, and it's how do we bring those two worlds together? Everything that's driven by an API on the right hand, a programming interface, and how can you then automate and integrate those with AI and artificial intelligence on the left? We're bringing those worlds together at Boomi, and that's what we want to do for our 20,000 plus customers is help them usher in the future, and it's going to be AI and APIs. I love that. Any sneak peeks at Boomi World, which is coming up in May, that you can well, share? Well, uh, you know, you probably heard we have Coach Prime speaking. I I'm did. so excited about that. I mean, yes. he's truly amazing. He's a perfect example of someone that's just incredibly innovative, and that's what we want to showcase. We're going to be showing a, an entire range of, of capabilities. The world's never seen around AI. We're also launching a task automation technology that anyone can use, automating your entire work life from your phone. So there's a lot of exciting stuff coming. Excellent, Steve. Look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much for joining us on the 6.5 Live, sharing what's happened in the last year and what's to come for Boomi. We appreciate your time. Thank you. My pleasure. For Steve Lucas, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching the 6.5 Live, live from CES 2024.